This is Steve Liebenthal with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Well, after a cooler than average June, a hotter than average July, now August seems to be settling into a pattern of being kind of an average month temperature wise, at least as afternoon highs go. Our uh, temperature right now just slightly below average. Here's a look at Boise from the top of the Grove Hotel. Just a few high wispy clouds out there. It is a little bit breezy and the temperature is 89 degrees. Just a couple of degrees cooler than the average for this date. It is dry and we have had that breeze out of the north for the better part of the afternoon right now coming at 8 miles per hour. Nice day in the mountains as well. Look at McCall. Plenty of sunshine. Just those same high wispy clouds. A little bit of chop out on Payette Lake this afternoon, but not so much that boating isn't very enjoyable in weather like this and a nice day in Stanley as well as we look at the sawtooth cam there those mountain locations are mostly in the mid 70s it's 76 right now in Stanley 77 in McCall 89 in Ontario Ontario or rather my mountain home is one of the few locations that has made it into the 90s so far this afternoon and we might jump up a degree or two over the next hour or so and there has been a breeze but no major gusts just an 18 mile per hour gust at the Boise Airport, 15 at uh, Nampa, and 17 mile per hour gust at the Mountain Home Airport. A little bit stronger wind over in Haley where they have experienced a 30 mile per hour gust. Tomorrow will look a lot like today. Temperatures very similar. We'll continue to see that breeze out of the northwest and it will likely pick up a little bit more tomorrow afternoon. So those winds will be 10 to 20 miles per hour with gusts up to 25 at times. But that wind is not associated with uh, any kind of a system that will bring any kind of precipitation. So we stay dry tomorrow with a high of 89 degrees. Monday, 91, that is right on for normal. 96 is our forecast high for Tuesday. And then those temperatures, as I said, at least uh, going into next weekend, kind of settling into a pattern of normal. We should be right around 90 degrees on those dates for afternoon highs. That's where we expect to be. We'll see a bump up on Sunday. Slightly warmer than average on Monday and then Tuesday, high of 89. And the 8 to 14 day temperature outlook, that's from 8 days from now until 14 days from now, shows cooler than average temperatures as the heat stays on the other side of the continental divide. So if you're enjoying the weather we're having right now, it will be pretty enjoyable for the most part as we go through the middle part of August. We do see an area shaded in pink there. That is a red flag warning that is in effect, and that goes through this evening at 9 p.m., not because of the risk of dry lightning or anything like that causing a fire, but because those winds are picking up and everything on the ground is so dry that if a fire were to start, that fire could very rapidly spread. So that's why that red flag warning is in effect really from Salmon all the way down to Pocatello. Uh, looks like it includes the Arco Desert up in Island Park as well. So those areas uh, under the threat of rapidly spreading fires again if a fire should start. But that won't happen because of lightning strikes because we are dry and we will remain dry as we go through the next seven days. So another sunny day tomorrow. Again, those winds picking up in the afternoon, northwest 10 to 20 miles per hour. 89 in Boise, 92 in Ontario, and 90 for the afternoon high in Mountain Home. In the Boise Mountains, a sunny and warm day as well. 85 in Idaho City, 87 is our forecast high in Garden Valley. Another nice day in McCall, a little bit warmer than today with a high of 79, and it will be a bit breezy. Might see a breeze on Redfish Lake in the afternoon as well. Morning low in Stanley gets down to 38, 79 is your forecast high. 84 in Fairfield in a breezy afternoon on the Camas Prairie. 90 for Gooding tomorrow, 89 in Twin Falls, morning lows in the 50s around the Magic Valley. And the extended forecast shows us getting back up to 91 on Monday. And as I said, that is a normal high temperature for that day. Our morning lows dipping down into the 50s here and there. We get up to 96 on Tuesday, 91 on Wednesday, and then next Thursday may see a cloud or two pop up. But again, Nothing as far as precipitation goes, at least in the forecast models we're looking at right now. And then next Friday and Saturday, our afternoon highs, again, pretty average for this time of year, right around 90 degrees. Great weather to get out and enjoy the sunshine. Thanks, Steve. Still ahead on Idaho News 6, the Idaho 